it's Tuesday, the third day of the season, and I'm gonna film Danielle. We're gonna kind of sneak through the woods. There's nobody in the woods, um, and we're just gonna take her time, move real slow, and see what we can see. on top of the hill and we're gonna watch around see if we can see anything come out in the dark. Friday next to the last day and uh, we're gonna walk around maybe sit a little bit Danielle has a buck and a doe tag uh, just a little misty rain out sort of stopped and uh, see what we can find and see if you can get a shot off at one
of the pine tree. Okay, do you want me to? Yep, go ahead. <sighs> All right. <laughs> She jumped pretty hard, like like she got hit pretty good. And uh, then we'll go in and get her. So, all right, we'll check the footage first. footage and it looked like a perfect shot using a 243 uh, Savage uh, it's my uh, first deer rifle that I started hunting with when I was 12 and that thing always dropped deer and she's killed how many deer is that for you now with three that, with this. three with that yeah. one 100 grain um, core lock uh, Remington bullets uh, and uh, they always seem to do their job uh, what do you say? I'm glad I got the big one. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're trying to get <laughs> always the big doe. For the big yeah. doe. <laughs> All right, congrats. Thanks. You're so used to dropping right in the track. I know. There's the stand we were in. She was behind some gold rods, but it wasn't like it was thick brush, so I think she was behind the, she was coming out of right here. I think she was standing right in here, I thought, because she was behind some brush. There's some hair right there. See it? No. Right here. Oh, yeah. So definitely a hit. Everything's so wet right now gonna be hard for the follow a really good blood trail. Oh, here. Huh? You it's see here. her? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see her. Yeah, big toe. Hearing some shooting. The deer are on the move. Yeah, that's definitely the exit. Oh, there's blood there. She oh, came yeah. All that, thick stuff. that was some nasty stuff. It's good to cut so, down where is the tree? You can actually see the tree right up through there, so it probably didn't even run 45, 50 yards. All right, congrats. So, that's definitely exit right there. I'm gonna grab the head, yeah, and just throw her head over this way. Right there. there. Yep. Yeah. Right behind the shoulder. I'd say it was a lung shot for sure because, I mean, there's just blood everywhere the whole way up through there. But, all right. There's Danielle's 2019 doe. Big doe. Finally, we've been waiting for a real big one. She finally got a chance. The misty rain and, uh, boy, they came in close, four of them. How many big ones? One. Just one. like three fawns. Okay. And uh, thought we messed up the hunt there because I stopped the doe behind the tree. And she's like, why did you do that? <laughs> and that's, that's, I mean, even sitting beside each other, the, you know, I had a clear open view and she said it was right behind the tree. Mm -hmm. uh, but they wanted to go into that food plot. But I was actually thinking they might have been getting chased by a buck. And because it didn't look like they were coming just to feed, it just looked like they were getting ready to cross and go into the thick stuff, maybe to come in through this stuff here. But she made a perfect shot with the 243. I mean, that shot was maybe 35 yards yeah. and didn't run very far. and 
Goddard Doe. Congrats. Proud of you.